So uh, let's just do a little bit of rudimentary class organization first, which is usually you get on the first day of class. What does that mean? It means going over the syllabus and uh, going over what the class is about, and then we'll cut right into the material shortly after that. Uh, so you're here for Android phone application development, hopefully. Uh, what are we going to do in here? Well, for, we're going to start out today. We'll be writing apps by the end of today. You can use a Mac or a PC for this. So I see a lot of people who have PCs who are in my iPhone class. Now you're in luck. You can actually program the Android stuff on a PC. No problem. If you don't have everything installed, don't worry about it. We're going to install that first thing. Uh, in fact, I'm going to have you start downloading stuff while I lecture to you. And then after that, you'll um, hopefully have everything downloaded. If you have problems getting Wi-Fi signal on your computer, it just won't connect. I have a USB disk that has all the development tools on it. And as soon as my TA arrives, I'll have give this to her, and she can go around and give it to people. So you don't have to worry about downloading stuff if you don't have it stuff installed. Obviously, for Android, you're going to need Java, the Java JDK. You're also going to need Eclipse installed. There's a couple of different ways of doing it, and uh, we'll do it the easy way. And the easy way entails uh, going to the developer for... Android and uh, downloading the SDK and installing it. So what we're going to go through today is the basis of the Android projects. Uh, where to put things in, we'll write hello world. We'll probably get as far as some, uh, you know, probably some different layouts, looking at the GUI components of it. Um, a little bit about Java programming as well. So we'll show a hands. How many people are already familiar with Java? Raise your hand. Ah, okay, so we got some half and half, it looks. So how many people are familiar with C or C++? Okay, well, that's good. Um, how many people don't have any programming experience at all? Well, so not too many of you. That's good. The people who don't have any programming experience at all, this is not a programming course. I do teach programming course. Actually, I teach C++, which will happen in the summer. I teach uh, Java concurrently this term. I also teach uh, iOS stuff as well, if you're interested in that. But uh, not, a Java, not a Java programming course, it's an Android course. But we will cover a little bit about Java because it's really hard not to cover something, especially for newbies who aren't familiar. If you're familiar with C++, you know Java. It's just very similar syntax, slightly different concepts, uh, but I'll go through the differences as we go through the lectures. Um, but it's not a full Java programming course, just so you know that. Um, what is it on oh, then? It's on the Android SDKs, Google tools, Google libraries, development methods for Android. You can read through the learning outcomes on your own. Required equipment, you don't need a phone for this, you can use the emulators. And for those people who don't like the emulators, which I'm one of them, we have VirtualBox emulators. And I can give you a VirtualBox image that will cut your cut your emulation life in half, or cut, cut, cut your problems in half, essentially. Make it a lot easier for you to uh, run the example projects, and we'll see that, um, well, probably before lunch, hopefully. Um, and so uh, you can also use the built-in emulators that come with the SDK. You don't have to install VirtualBox or anything else. Um, but you'll find it does run a bit slower. If you're familiar with iOS development, that's like the best. Well, okay, I say it's the best only because the tools are really nice. The language is really bad. Uh, I shouldn't say bad, but the language itself is very difficult. So learning Objective-C is much harder than learning Java. <laughs> learning Java is easy. However, using I, uh, Xcode and using the iPhone emulators, very easy compared to the Android so you'll spend most of your time battling with the Android SDK, battling with the Android tools, the emulators that are a problem. Um, that's really going to be the, the bottleneck for your development efforts. The programming part, piece of cake. So it's kind of the exact opposite of the iOS environment. Um, not to say that it hasn't gotten better, because it has gotten a lot better. So, But it's still not the same. It's like comparing... Uh, apples and oranges almost. Um, so if you're an ITU student, you have a final exam for the course. Final exam for the course will be given during the last weekend of the course during the A, what I'm calling the advanced section. So I have the course broken out into three weekends. We have a beginning weekend, which is what you're in now. We have an intermediate weekend, which is coming up in another month or so. And then we have an advanced weekend. So I've got the course objectives broken out for beginning, intermediate, and advanced. So for ITU students, you're taking all three. For me to people, they come and go. 
Sometimes some people will show up for the beginning, some people will go in the middle, some people will go at the end. But these are the requirements in red for ITU students, which most most of you are, so I'm gonna focus on that right now. Uh, there is a comprehensive final exam. It's worth 40% if you're getting a grade in this course. If you're a meet a person uh, or if you're just sitting in on the course, you're not going to get a grade. Well, you'll get pass-fail kind of thing, so you don't have to worry about the exam. But you might want to take the exam, actually. It might, might be good to kind of see how your skills are. Uh, but we, what we have, though, is 60% uh, of your grade is for programming assignments. So it's two assignments, two assignments, two assignments. We're actually going to write those assignments or most of the assignments in the classes. So, uh, yes? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, if you're uh, going to take the final exam, it will be during the last interactive session, which is during the uh, intermediate, which I actually have the dates for you actually out here. Uh, let's see. For those guys who are curious, oops, if I click on the right link, I put the dates here. It will be the weekend of April 13th, 14th. This class is kind of interesting. We uh, meet this weekend. And then we, uh, the, this is for the beginning part of it. The intermediate part of it is going to be March 30th, 31st, which is only a couple more weeks. Beginning of the month, end of the month. And then beginning of the next month, we just got this advanced section of it, which is going to be the final exam weekend. So it's, it's really quick. But this will be a long eight hours. Well, hopefully it will be a short eight hours. So I'm going to try and minimize your amount of sitting and listening as well and have you actually do stuff which is why I like I see a lot of people brought computers which is excellent because with a computer you'll definitely be a lot more entertained than sitting here listening to me trying to figure out how to program when you don't understand what's going on so uh, that was a very good question however uh, so yeah this class will fly by as fast as uh, possible by time as well alright so programming projects themselves um, there's two of them what we're doing is I'm teaching around the projects so this weekend we're going to be doing both of the two projects. Next weekend we'll be working with the next two projects. You know, the following weekend, uh, last three projects. So learning objectives is based on the projects. Um, if uh, you follow through kind of the format, I've got it broken out into beginning, intermediate, advanced. So those people who miss this weekend will miss all the beginning stuff. And then people that come up for the next one at the end of the month will be in the intermediate stage, so then we'll have the advanced stage. It's just a way of formatting it to kind of actually makes it um, breaks it up a little bit, makes it more interesting. Break it down into three different sections. Uh, so let's see. Uh, workshop grading. If you uh, and this is where I'm going to make a special note and say if you're a meetup person, you've come here, see me at the first break. Um, are you meetup? Are you ITU? Meetup? Okay, good. We have a hybrid I2 meetup class going on today, as you may have noticed. Uh, <laughs> and um, I have, I'll, I'll meet with the meetup people when we have our lunch break kind of thing, which is be around noon, noonish or so, just to kind of get where you're coming from and kind of explain and answer any questions for you. Um, for those people who came in late, I'm going over this syllabus because I know it's not just you. A couple other people just walked in too. And uh, this syllabus is kind of a format for the course, which is kind of a... Um, an interesting thing to look at. It's at bhecker.com. So if you go up to bhecker.com, you'll see it. Uh, not, you don't have to put the ITU in here, but it's under Spring 2013 Android. It's the syllabus that I'm going over for those people who just walked in. So, And the syllabus is basically explaining what the class is about, which is kind of the most important part because when you show up, you're like, what's going on? <laughs> All right. But I'll talk to meetup people. So if you're a meetup person and I haven't identified you yet, when we have our first, when we have our lunch break, right before, because I'm not going anywhere, I'm going to stay here. Come on up, and I'll kind of touch base with you and see where you're coming at. If you, you know, you like the morning, then we'll sign you up, get you in. If you don't like it, no problem. You, know? <laughs> you can go away. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but there's a form you have to fill out and a, a payment for the class if you're going to stay past the lunch hour. Basically, is how I'm working this. Yes. Uh, why don't we take it before the lunch break? And then what well, you can get it is right up here. Actually, you can get it anytime you want. I also have a USB disc for you that has the software on it. So come on up this way. So here's the TA for the course who's just arrived. <laughs> when we go through the software installation, some of you will have problems downloading. Some of you will just naturally will have problems because of the connection speed or something. So I have all of the utility, uh, everything on this disc right here. So I'll give that to you. 
It's got the 32-bit and the 64-bit version of all the development tools. So when people have problems, you can ask her. She will bring the disk over to you and, it's, and uh, copy the files over so you can run it on your computer without having to download it, just in case we have problems with the connection speed. Okay. And here's the roster. If you're, if you're a meetup person, you're not on the roster. That's for the IT people. So she'll take care of that. <coughs> Though we have two as, as far as I've identified so far. Okay. So after lunch. Whenever you want. Whenever. <laughs> but you're going to start the class, I guess? I'm starting it. I've already yeah. started it. <laughs> All right. You can take it right before lunch if you want. So. All right. So for grading, let's talk about grading. If you're a meetup person you're, and you're in the app development certificate program, you're going pass fail. If you're not and you don't really want to be or it doesn't really matter, you can just be in here. You don't have to have a grade. You can get a pass fail. If you're an IT student, you're getting a letter grade. And the letter grade shows up on your transcript. So if you have an IT if you're an IT student going for a grade, your grade's gonna be essentially based upon the three, and you're actually all enrolled in all three weekends of this. Your grade will be based on the forty percent for the assignments and sixty excuse me, 40% for the final exam, 60% on the assignments, which means you'll have to turn everything in. So. so what do we have here at the bottom of the syllabus is the schedule. And the schedule looks like this, weekend one, two, three, four, five. So what we're going to do as soon as I get done talking about the class is uh, starting with the development tools. While that stuff is installing, I'm going to go over some basic Android stuff. Um, and then we're going to get into uh, the first program. So let's see, it's about 9.30. Probably we'll end up writing the first program by noon, I think. And we'll have a lunch break. And then we'll come back from lunch. And I'm going to try and make breaks because I know you guys can't sit for eight hours straight. And I can't stand for eight hours straight. So we'll try to break it up a little bit. Have some projects, some stuff like that to work on. Uh, we'll talk about uh, the first program, which is going to be, you know, obviously we're going to have to write Hello World. And then I've got a bunch of other tutorials that I'm going to go through. You can see the tutorials, actually. You can preview them, download them if you'd like. They are, whoops, not in here. They are going to be located at, or they are already located under tutorials. We're hitting all these tutorials. It seems like a lot, but we're hitting all these tutorials by the end of the weekend. This is our weekend plan. So we're going to start out with Hello World. Talk about the life cycle of Android programs, get into the Android uh, functioning, talk about the logging features of Android, which is really good for, for debugging and troubleshooting programs. Get in the concepts of strings and how to hold strings, get into menus, how to create menus, uh, different types of menus. The button kind of um, event listeners concepts relate to event listeners and buttons and controls and GUIs. Uh, look at how to get at the content on the phone by looking at the, the contacts, actually, and taking contacts and bringing them into your app and looking at how to, how to work with the phone content. Layouts, also get into the concept of the different types of layouts. Um, and then the, the last capstone project will be building a tic-tac-toe game. By the end of tomorrow, you'll have uh, several working applications, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> if you don't, then you'll have them here after you download them. <laughs> because I've also included in a couple days ago, actually throughout the week, I've been going through testing out the tutorials. So I have a solution posted for each one of the uh, tutorials. So if you can't get it to work, you can always look at the finished product, take a look at it, see where you're going wrong, compare your, your project with the finished product, and see and kind of figure out what's going on with that. But we'll be running step by step through how to build these applications. So, so it's very tutorial driven, uh, which is different than a regular, regular old lecture based class. I will try to break it up though, because we are sitting here for eight hours, so it'll be like you know some lecture stuff while something else is going on, some tutorial stuff, you know, mix it up. Questions, comments, or concerns before we get started? No, nope. very good. Yes. Oh, um, you can have a Mac, which I think I think I see you have, or you can have a PC. I'm using a Mac actually, so it's compatible. So Mac or PC, now's a good time to actually bring it out, turn it on, power it up. <laughs> if you need Wi-Fi access, it's three five five I T U one one. Did you get access? So it says I have internet connection, but um, I can't connect. I can't 
of the email, it's, it's kind of weird. And I'm not prompted anywhere to put in password either. Is the host ITU? Or? And the host is ITU. Yeah, that's weird. And uh, hold on one second, then let me see. Um, let me let me um, end this recording here. As as you, some of you may or may not be aware, I'm actually recording everything we're doing as well. So if you came in late, you can go and uh, look at the what did I miss? Or if you come back from lunch an hour late or something, you go, oh what did I miss? You can relive time. So I'm going to end this recording because this was really the introduction, and then. Uh,